Hello everyone. Welcome back to my art channel. Thank you for being here. I scraped the table from the painting that I did in the beautiful pinks, purples, um, turquoise blue and orange, and I got a really pretty gray color. So I said that video was cursed because the top camera didn't work. I put my finger in it. I, you know, it was a total mess as I usually am. And I wanted to do another one. This time I'm not gonna scoop after I swipe. I'm gonna use that color that I have as the base color. It's a really light, pretty purplish gray color. And I'm going to swipe these vertically only this time, if I can remember to. <laughs> I think it's going to turn out really cool. I love it when all the lacing is kind of uniform and not necessarily uniform, but like it, it's all one color swiping through. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm swiping with white as well. And let's paint. Okay, I think this is going to be enough color. If it is not, I might add, oh, maybe it's not, I don't know. I might add just a little bit of white around the edges. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And hopefully that part will come off. Okay, let me see if I can do this gently. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay, and that's too little. I'm doing this with my left hand, so. Kudos to all you lefties out there. Although I guess if you always use your left hand, then you should use your right hand. <laughs> all right, okay. I'm going to, I really love this color. I couldn't have made this gray color if I tried, but it is gorgeous. Now, all right, I'm not gonna scoop and I'm gonna lay my colors down. So I have to think about how I'm gonna swipe this one for where I want the colors to go. So maybe I'll do all the colors at one time on this one. So I'm gonna swipe this first one. See, I'm doing them, see this is what's so difficult. I'm doing them vertically, so I guess I'm gonna swipe this one through here. All right. You really, there's like so much that goes into it. You don't even think about it, but there really is. <laughs> I'm such a klutz. Oh my goodness. So this part's gonna swipe vertically just straight up through there. What am I missing here? My orange. So if I have one up through here, do I wanna cross it with one maybe over here? So they're all basically kind of, all basically kind of, maybe sort of, <laughs> gonna point into the center. What do I even say on these videos to y'all? Oh, okay. And I've been finding out recently that like more and more people, I mean, obviously I have, I'm blessed to have the amount of subscribers that I do, but I'm finding out people that like I know in my everyday life have been watching as well. And I don't know why, but like, I'm always like, oh my gosh, they see this creative side of me that they never see. And I'm like super duper loopy and crazy in my videos. So I'm like, okay, this is what you got. But I mean, for the most part, they know me anyway, but I'm a little bit more serious in my Not really. <laughs> All right, okay. Two, I want one more. Maybe I'll swipe one more around there so I'll point it in this way. Maybe just a tiny one kind of layered on top. Okay, I've been doing, I did that color combination. Maybe I'll do this one now. And kind of creep it on along. I'm gonna put the orange in the center of this one next to the blue. Hmm, turquoise blue on this side. 
Is that everything? Two, four, five, two, four, five. All right. Oh, okay. So I don't know how the center is gonna turn out because I'm gonna be swiping them through one another. So I guess let's just see. Starting in the color, not in the base because the base won't create the same cells and lacing. Oh, I didn't quite get all the orange. Ooh, on the spatula. Okay, that's just gonna be a color of orange. Oh, that's really pretty too. Okay, so you can see I've got like the true, it's not a rainbow of colors, but it is a rainbow of colors. It's not rainbow colors, but it's a rainbow of colors. <laughs> okay, so I've got that one. Gosh, what do I wanna do with this one? I feel like maybe I wanna swipe that one down this way instead of going straight through. I swear my concept changes as I'm painting and I just got a bunch of blue in my swipe catalyst. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna let those oranges kind of meet there. That'll look like it was kind of meant to be together. And then I swiped around those. Okay, okay. All right, I like that. I like how that orange joined in with that orange there. So now, the last little swipe, I think I'm gonna go to the smaller palette knife again. Oh, I gotta mix that blue on in there. You want to make sure so that orange previously did not. It's because I didn't have enough swipe catalyst back here on the back end of my palette knife. The orange did not it didn't catch over the orange and it was almost like a solid color. But that's okay. I really love this portion right here. So gosh, Oh, well, I'm dripping the white. I don't know. Okay, I'll start in here. But I think I may do this one as a scoop upwards and switch hands. Gosh, this is difficult. Have those like meet right there. Oh my gosh, that orange and blue and pink created a beautiful green color right there. So I may have to put some curly cues out in here. I am just going to take my palette knife and just kind of squiggle those just in case they stay on the canvas. Same thing over here. Just make it kind of pretty and that corner for sure will go off and this corner for sure will go off. Maybe I do a little river of the orange through here. And maybe a little river of the turquoise through there. I don't know, maybe I'll have to fix that later. Doing it before, adding designs before you stretch it out can be super helpful in making it all look like one cohesive unit. But depending on how you tilt, it can kind of make those lines wonky. So I'm not sure if that's a word that translates well to other languages, but um, so it, it's, you know, it doesn't always work out, but you can always fix it afterwards. So that's what I'm going to look for. And then I'll see if I need to fix anything. This is gonna kind of be like a two-tone one because I added that white on the outer edge, but I think it will stretch out to mostly be the gray. I don't even know if I'll see any of the white. All right, let's go. Move those out of the way. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take it to this corner first just kind of rocking it back and forth until I get a little bit of that color over the edge. Now I'm gonna bring the paint back to the center and then down to this edge here. 
Now, if you get to this point, so if I just dumped everything off right here, I would lose this whole section. So I'm just gonna slide the paint just a little bit to get it started so that I don't have to dump all that paint off if I don't want to. So, so now it's moving a lot better. And now I can just get it to there and keep my purple. So I'm gonna move this on back a little bit. Come down here. And you can let me know if kind of talking through this process still helps all of you, because I still love talking through it. And I still find it helpful even watching my videos back. Ooh, I love the way that composition came out. What? Oh, I think I'm leaving this as is. The only thing I have, I have one little lump right there. Most of the gray came off. And I do wish, I do think I'm gonna carry that turquoise. <laughs> I don't wanna drip up through here. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna carry that turquoise line. Just softened it out just a little bit. All the way up through there. Okay. Yeah, I love that little extra piece that I did there. I actually love that corner that it's kind of just some bold color without lacing. Let me get this one little spot. I see you right there. Make just like a little star kiss out of it. But I do feel like dragging that on along. And dragging that on along. I really like it. I love this section of lacing right here. I love that it's actually like an, a rainbow through there. Yeah, I'm very happy. All right, I'll show you. All right, here it is. I love this beautiful, soft, grayish purple base. I love the fact that the stripes of color came down this way. I actually really like that little corner up there. The lacing is so pretty everywhere. I love how that orange met. And I'm really glad that I added those little pieces. So all in all, this is an absolute success for me. I love the motion, the composition, everything about this one. All right, I will show you how it dries. I'm looking now, this part here and this part here are like perfect in those corners. They go together so well. And then I've got those big bright pops of color there. Oh, in the center. I'm really happy with this one. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone for watching. Happy painting. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's as if this was dry. All right, I'll show you how it dries. I am so pleased with this piece and I really do enjoy the gray base on this one. The vertical swipe kept all the colors in line. Absolutely beautiful. I love that corner and that corner. I feel like they just make the painting complete. And I really do like that little tiny pop of color up there in that corner. So I'll take you in just a little bit on the lacing. I love those extra swipes I did to add color in that negative space.
super cool. Super happy about this swipe. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Happy painting. Bye.